Hi everyone, in this problem we have an infinite series and we're being asked to use the ratio test to determine if it converges or diverges. So the ratio test says we start by taking the following limit. So we have the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n. So if we get an answer that is less than 1, we get convergence. If we get an answer that is bigger than 1, we get divergence. And if we get 1, then we have no information. So this is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity. So notice that we can drop the absolute value because um, n here is positive. So there's nothing negative here, so we don't need the absolute value. First, let's focus on a sub n plus 1. So we'll replace all of the n's with n plus 1's. So that'll become n plus 1 to the 5 over 3 to the n plus 1. Then we divide by this. It's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So times 3 to the n over n to the 5. So division is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So uh, typically that's what you do in these problems. All right, let's see what we can do here to um, simplify this. Um, first, let's focus on the threes. Notice that 3 to the n over 3 to the n plus 1 can be written as 3 to the n over 3 to the n times 3 to the 1. Because when you multiply the bottom pieces here, you add the exponents. 3 to the n times 3 to the 1 is 3 to the n plus 1. These cancel, and you get 1 third. So this is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity. So on the bottom, we're definitely going to get a 3, right? Because it's 1 over 3. And let's deal with the n's now. So let's see. The n's, I'll do it over here on the top left. We have n plus 1 to the 5 over n to the 5. Okay. Um, this limit is going to be 1 because when you multiply the top piece out, um, you could think of uh, the highest degree term as being n to the fifth. However, if you don't like that, you can do something like this, I suppose. Do a little clever trick like that. And then you see that this limit here on the inside is going to be 1, because it's n to the 1 over n to the 1. And you have a 5 here, so it's just 1 to the fifth. Um, you could keep going with this if you wanted to simplify it more. You could write it as n over n plus 1 over n. I personally wouldn't do this, but I'll, but I'll do it. And so this is 1 plus 1 over n. And so now maybe you can kind of see it better because this 1 over n here approaches 0. So you just get 1 to the 5th, so you get 1. In any case, though, you should just be able to look at this and notice they're both to the 5th power, so you're going to get 1. So um, I'm going to leave them like this, n plus 1 to the 5th. Uh, and then here we have n to the 5th. So when you take the limit, they go away, right? And we said they're 1, so you just get 1 third. And that's less than 1. So that means that it converges by the ratio test. So we have convergence in this problem. I hope this video has been helpful.